I'll be honest, I am sharing the stories that I'm about to share with you because I want you to acknowledge the seriousness of COVID-19. It is highly contagious. It is deadly. And if you haven't vaccinated yourself by now, there's still time to change that before it's too late. And these stories here that we're going to share are people who regret their decision to not get vaccinated, or at least one of them regrets it because they're still here to feel regret. So the first story is about a woman who uh, was not vaccinated, who got a really, really serious wake-up call when she got infected with COVID-19. As Sky Palma of Raw Story explains, after a rough battle with COVID-19, a North Carolina woman who was unvaccinated is now urging people to get the shot, 13 News reports. I thought I was healthy enough that I could escape it, said Linda Edwards, who contracted the virus about three weeks ago. Really, it was the most frightening thing I've ever been through in my life. It's changed my whole life. I'll never be the same, Edwards said. I just thought if I live through this, I want to go on a mission to try to help people see that it is not worth not taking the vaccine because of what it can do to your family. We could have easily have had two funerals. Only 34% of the people in the county where Edwards lives are partially vaccinated and 31% are fully vaccinated. According to Graham County Health Director Beth Booth, the vaccine hesitancy in the county is almost taken to another level. As for Edwards, she says she'll be getting vaccinated as soon as she can. And stories like this are really important because, you know, she is vocalizing the same sentiment that a lot of people, many people who you may know, uh, have have expressed that they don't really want to get the vaccine. You know, they haven't got infected yet. They would rather take their chances. They don't necessarily know about the, uh, you know, the vaccines, what's in them. And sure, they've heard about the studies about how effective and safe they are. But yet there's a lot of doubts in their minds because of posts that they saw on social media. Stop. That's misinformation. Stop. Understand. Whatever fear that you feel about the COVID-19 vaccines, that is going to be nothing in comparison to the fear that you'll feel if you catch COVID-19. And this woman now, thankfully, is changing, and she's trying to get people to do what she didn't do. But That was actually a happy story, even though, you know, her life going forward, she says, will never be the same because I'm sure she's going to be dealing with the consequences uh, and the ramifications uh, of COVID-19 for a long time on her health. But um, another individual wasn't so lucky because a nurse from Louisiana who was also anti-vax, which is crazy to me because she is in the medical field, she died after contracting COVID-19. So as Travis Geddes of Raw Story reports, a Louisiana nurse who questioned the safety of vaccines has died of complications from COVID-19. Olivia Goudry, a registered nurse in the emergency department at Oshner Lafayette General, died Saturday after being hospitalized for the coronavirus in the intensive care unit, reported The Advocate. Today is a sad day for my ER family and I, her colleague Nick Berthelot posted on Facebook. Your contagious laugh and smile will truly be missed, Liv. Until we meet again, sweet girl. Coronavirus deaths have decreased dramatically in Louisiana since last year, but the state has seen a recent increase that experts blame on its low vaccination rate of 36% compared with about 50% nationally, and Goodry questioned their safety on her own social media account. This vaccine has been released using recombinant DNA technology faster than any vaccine in the world, Goodry posted on July 26th of 2020. It manipulates your DNA at the tiniest molecular level. That's not true. Do not get it, it's not safe. She also questioned pandemic safety measures and retweeted another account calling coronavirus tests fake. Quote, am I the only one thinking they are trying to see how much they can control us? She posted July 11th of 2020. We are a straight up social experiment. Both of Goodry's parents are currently ill with the coronavirus and she is also survived by a pregnant sister. So listen, this is a very young person, a very young person. And she died because she bought into the misinformation that is absolutely deadly. Let's call it what it is. This information that's being spread on social media, it is deadly. It's a killer. And if you are perpetuating the spread of this misinformation, you might be inadvertently responsible for somebody else's death if what you share gets through through to them and it convinces them, okay, I guess I'm not getting the COVID-19 vaccine. It's too late for her now. She can no longer 
change her mind. The decision to not get vaccinated now, it is what it is. That's that. Death is permanent. You can't go back from that. So do you understand? Like, even though I lambast anti-vaxxers and make fun of them and scream at anti-maskers on this channel, at the end of the day, I want you to protect yourselves and be safe. That's why I, I do it. Because life is precious, life is short. So your pension for conspiracy theories, your willingness to be duped by this misinformation that's being spread on social media, it is literally deadly. But if you're watching this video, it's not too late. If this woman were alive today, she would probably be uh, proselytizing as much as the first woman is, right? Screaming at the top of her lungs to get the vaccine. Everything that she shared was wrong. But it's really harmful. And especially like for someone to be a nurse and share this level of misinformation, it's even more harmful. I don't know how many people she convinced, right? But hopefully everyone around her knows now the seriousness of, of this disease, how deadly it is. And it doesn't matter if you're young and seemingly healthy. This is a killer. But it's not too late. We all want to go back to normal. This is not about control. This is not about inserting micro chips into your body. This is not about an attempt by the government for some reason to change your DNA. That's not what the uh, mRNA vaccines do. That's not the way that it works. Educate yourself with real misinf with real information and not misinformation. No memes on Facebook. Actually, if, if you're scared, look up the studies that show how effective and safe these vaccines are. If you think the vaccine is scary, then it's not as scary as getting COVID-19. So I hope that people will learn from these stories and grow. But unfortunately, some people are so stubborn that they're, they're just not going to make that decision and they're going to change their minds once it's too late. And I hope that people see this and they think, okay, don't want to risk it. I want to get the vaccine to not just protect myself, but also protect others who are not vaccinated. Just do what's right so you don't regret it later.